Hey guys, so I got a video response. This is from Jesse. So you posted here. Mike is so right when he speaks about the emotion trapped in the trauma of a scar. So I have 14 scars from my spinal surgery that is 25 years old, but every time the barometer pressure goes low and is very cold or very moist in the air, my scar lights up in a painful, quote, fire. I tried breathing deeply through my scar, letting go of the emotions tied to it, and when I do, the pain goes away a bit. I will keep doing this and hopefully the pain will dissipate completely, eventually. Thanks, Mike, for all you do and sharing the wisdom, of your experience and practices. Okay, so it's a great comment. I want to make a video to go ahead and explain about that. If you guys have had surgery in the past, if you guys have had scars in the past, a lot of times those scars have emotions tied to it. There's some type of traumatic event doing that's tied to it. So here's what's happening. Even if we're not thinking about um, that situation, if we're not thinking about that event, that doesn't mean that this event is not in the back of our mind. Remember that we have three levels of thoughts. We have the level of thought where we are hearing it loudly. We have a level of thought that we are hearing it in a whisper. And then there's a low level of thought that's so low you can't even hear about it. You don't even hear it. There's no sound. That level of thought is awareness. That means, let's say you have a scar, right? And let's say I, because I actually have a scar. This used to happen to me. There's a scar right here. You guys can still see that, right? This right here. This scar here, dog bite, right? I jumped down, I was, I was playing, I jumped down from this high platform, landed on this bean bag, I was having fun. My friend's dog comes in, just chomps on me really quick. It was painful and uh, it was big enough, deep enough to where five years later, it's still here, right? So on that low level of awareness, when I used to look at the scar, I remember after it healed, there was still this sense of fear here, a sense of discomfort here. Because every time when I looked at the scar, I was aware of the dog biting me. I was aware of being injured. And that awareness of being injured, that made me feel fear. That made me feel a sense of worry and anxiety. So then when I walked around any dogs that looked mean, there was a sense of fear that would just come up. So what we need to do is not just releasing the emotions so this way we're not thinking about the traumatic events that are connected to the scars. We also need to release it deeper to where we are not even aware of those events. The awareness one is very subtle and the way that you can get there is you have to work down the road, down the line. The first level is the level of loud thoughts. So that means if you got some scars and you keep reminding yourself in your mind or even out loud of the thing that happened, who did whatever to you or what you did something else and somehow the story of the scar, you keep repeating it, you keep thinking about it, you're automatically going to create that emotion. That emotion is gonna always be generated. When you go a little bit lower and you're now in your mind whispering about this idea, but maybe you're not broadcasting it out loud, you're still generating it, but it's a little more subtle. When you go all the way to the lowest level and you're looking at the scar or you just, you're not even paying attention to it, it's there, but there is no awareness of that event, that would help you be able to let go of the emotion. This is on the level of mind. On the level of body now, what happens when we feel the emotion from the event that created this scar? What do you do? Step one. Feel that emotion. Step two, feel that emotion. Feel the sensation. Step three, feel the sensation. That's it. You see how simple it is. Feel the sensation. And whenever your mind gets distracted into what he said, she said, all this stuff, come back and feel the sensation. Keep feeling the sensation of that emotion. Don't think about the emotion. Feel the sensation of the emotion. I just got done with the class and there was maybe 15 questions around this one topic here. Okay, so let me, let me share with you. Feeling the sensation. What does it mean to feel the sensation? 
Does that mean I go, I think I am angry? No, that's still thinking. Feeling means literally feeling it in your body. You know, when you do this, you can feel the sensation on top of your arm. If I do this, I can feel the sensation right here. That's feeling, right? So now I want to feel the sensation on the inside, not just here on the outside, but deeper in. I want to feel the sensation that's happening because there is a sensation inside that's happening when I am feeling stressed, feeling worried, feeling anxiety, fear. There's a sensation that's happening in the body and you want to take your attention and you want to bring it into the body and you want to fully feel it. And remember steps one, two, and three? They were all related to what? Feeling, 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 and feeling. Every time when your thoughts trail off, you're not feeling anymore. Your attention is thinking in your mind. Bring your attention back to your body and feel. That's all you have to do. And keep feeling until that sensation, that emotion is fully released. When you do this in combination with the mind of not constantly reminding yourself of the event, you go ahead and release it completely. Now, what you have on your body is just a scar, but there is no emotional charge. There is no fear. There is no trauma behind it. It's not that you have blocked out the story or that you've forgotten or try to forget. No, you still remember if you needed to bring it up, but it's not unconsciously playing in the back of your mind. And you're not constantly feeling the emotion of that event, that fear, whatever that emotion is because you release it at the level of the body by feeling it and you released it at the level of mind by not constantly reminding yourself of that story. So that's what you do when you have scars and you want to let go of the emotions around it and not let the scar affect your future and affect your life now. So hope this video helps guys. Leave in the comments below let me know if you have any questions on this topic or any other topic. And remember to subscribe and hit that uh, notification button. See you guys.